Hello, my name is Shia, and welcome to my channel, Praying Shia. This channel is based on yoga and everything to do with loving yourself. So I am going to start off, oh, excuse the air. It is cold here, so work with it. I decided to make my first video to be about bedtime yoga. I don't have a mat. This is something clearly you can do in your bed, as you see with my lovely setup trying to set the ambiance and we are going to do a quick 10 minute setup that you can do in your bed comfy in your little pjs or whatnot and you can do this before you go to bed or when you wake up it's restorative based and it's just a kind of calm you down we're going to start off with breathing everything in this pose will be at least five breaths and i'm going to show you how to breathe we're going to start off with a, the deep side breath. I'm not going to use Sanskrit in this one because I'm aiming it for beginners. So let's just get the postures and how to move first and then we'll get fancy with the Sanskrit names. So we're going to take our deep side breath. You're going to inhale as deep as you can and then you're going to let it out like a sigh. <sighs> is robust if you can. We're going to do three of those and then after that I'm going to close my mouth and we're going to do the next two just breathing with your mouth closed but it's still the same sigh like sighing without the audible mouth sound. Okay so let's start. First we're going to take our five deep breathing position of uh, five deep breaths Make sure you get in a comfortable position. This is comfortable for me. You want to spread your gluteus maximus cheekbones because you want to make sure you're on your tailbone, if you will. Get comfortable. If you want to feel more grounded, you'll place your hands like this. If you want to be open and receive more, you'll open up your palms and lay them down. I am a person uh, who has anxiety, so I'm going to put my hands down on my knees. You'll see me do that a lot, so I feel more grounded. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to inhale. That's breath one. That's breath two. That's breath three. And then the next two we're going to do with my mouth closed, but still that same. Inhale and strong push out. Then back to the right. One more time. Keep it on the right. Down to the center. Over to the left. If you wonder about your breathing, you inhale when you're on the sides, you exhale when you're in the center. So inhale on the left. Exhale down to the center. Inhale to the right. Exhale down to the center. And we're gonna take our left arm and reach it over. And you wanna make sure that your heart, your chest is open, so you're gonna kinda of lean back. Place your right hand down. You're gonna just stretch. Give that side a nice little stretch. That left 
arm down. We're going to bring the right arm up for the same position. You're going to get that stretch. You want to make sure your chest is open. So kind of lean toward, not all the way back here, but kind of lean toward the ceiling. Get that nice right side stretch. involved. We're going to stretch those out and we're going to work that lower back a little bit. Okay, but first let's flex the toes. Flex them. Point them. Flex inhale. try to touch our toes. Some of you that might not be in your uh, skill set at this particular time, so you just want to reach for your toes as far as you can. If this is what you can do, that's great. That is wonderful. If this is where you want to start and eventually end up at your toes, which is what I will be doing, that is great. If you just want to swan dive and go for it, then that is fine as well. Work at your pace. This journey is about what you can do, not comparing yourself. Just relax, it's bedtime. Okay, so inhale, arms up above your head. Exhale, forward fold, go to where you can. We're gonna hold this for about five to six breaths. You wanna inhale, lengthen. That means kind of stretch as far as you can. And then exhale, you want to deepen your stretch. So start. Lengthen. Forward fold. want to get those hamstrings and lower back for me it's my lower back that I'm really trying to get relax your neck and then you want to make sure you have a straight back and that it's not curved Come up. You should feel that. Now we're going to do half lotus. We're going to take our left leg and bring it in. Okay. And we're still going to forward fold. We're just going to focus on the right side. We're only going to hold it for five breaths. So the same concept, but just one leg is out and the other leg is tucked in for half lotus. So arms up above your head. Inhale, come up. Try to aim for one vertebrae at a time. And then we're gonna extend our left leg and bring our right leg in for half lotus. Okay. Inhale. How you doing? <laughs> 
Hopefully you're doing well and I'm not killing you. Stretch for in case you want to get those shoulders. And on the exhale, you're going to forward fold. Heat is kicking back on, sorry about that. So now, I'm going to extend both our legs and we're just gonna wiggle them a little bit. You should feel it now. Now, we're gonna do two more leg poses. We're going to do a revolving stretch. We're going to take our left leg, I'm gonna bring it up. And we're going to revolve and lift our legs. With that being said, these are poses, stretch, um, poses or stretches that you can use in the gym as well, except for when we get past the I know well, you can be furious. I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. Okay. We're going to do the right tomorrow, side. But who knows? Who knows? Now, if revolving is too much, then just switch and stay right here. Just hug the ankle to your chest and do your best. That is great. Now, if you can, you want to turn this way. Which means turn to your right side as well. We fly, we fly. Try so hard together and we might, we might. Lost but not forever. Now we're gonna take this more to a lay down stretch. So my goal is to slowly surely bring you down to the honorary. So now we're going to just lay down a little bit further. We're getting closer and closer to our bedside. Now I have pillows. But if you want to get rid of the pillow and do it, feel free. Very relaxing. Play. Mini squat. We're going to take our left leg and we're going to stretch it over to the right. And you want to bring your left leg out. Twist to face the left. While your left leg is on the ground. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can kick that leg on out. Really working here. Because things in life you simply need to know. But sun and rain and trust in letting go. You lift that right leg up. It takes a bit of suffering. Sleepless nights and wandering. Before you make it safe to the end, the end, the end. And if you ever wonder, there is nothing wrong with a little thunder. There's things in life you simply need to know. About sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. Before you make it safely to the end, the end. There's things in life you simply need to know. Now just to give more back to your action and stretches that we were doing before, you can do half the baby, which is the next song that I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to turn this up to you. Let's do it again. Happy baby, you're gonna roll over or roll on your back like a little bug and have both 
legs up. Grab your inside toe, bend your knee, and just flow. Do what makes you happy. For me, I don't know why, I just like to cross my legs like this and just rock back and forth. This is really kind of counteracting the forward stretching we were doing before. I just let that back. Basically, your legs are making a number four. You're gonna grab your leg through the inside. Grab, push your hand through that hole on the inside. You're going to take your arm, your right arm in this case, and wrap it around. And we just hug this knee in. This is good for your digestive system. You're going to bed anyway, help it out. Let all your organs just get a nice little squeeze of love. Now it's bedtime, so I'm just gonna let my foot hang. If you wanna be active, you can flex your foot. Let's just flex. take our right hand now. We're going to stick it through the center of our hole. We're going to take our left hand and wrap it around that left leg. We're going to, either you can leave it up like this. I'm for the relaxing at this particular moment. Flex your foot for more active activity and just let it hang just to get this inside squeeze of love. here and I just got done with our four folding poses with our legs we're going to get our blanket like I have here and we are going to go into Shavasana or corpse pose basically that is you going to bed so we have concluded today I'm going to have a one minute show you how to do Shavasana and that is it with me. I hope you enjoyed this quick yoga before bedtime. Try to make it super realistic, something you can do before you have your lights out moment. And I am going to lay out and show you how to do this. And I hope you return. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that whatnot. And I'll see you soon. So, yeah. Here goes your shavasana. I'm going to lay down. <clears throat> Mat 
Imagine you're in your bed, whatever makes you comfortable. <clears throat> I'll talk so much more about corpse pose later. You want your arms out to the side, palms forward. You're going to inhale and do our deep breathing, um, side breathing that I showed you before. You're going to inhale as much as you can and exhale, let it out. So, inhale. 